Hi students, 12th standard computer science chapter 7 python functions. So today we are going to learn about scope of variables. So already we know that what is the meaning of scope? Scope means it is the visibility of variable. Scope of variable. So here scope means it is, uh, it is referred to the part of the program. Then, where it is accessible and area we can use it. So, that is called scope of variable. We can say uh, that it is used to hold the values and variables. Then, it has uh, two types. One is a local and another one is global. Local variable and another one is global variable. Go, global scope. Now, the first one is a local scope. So, here local scope means it is declared inside the function body. We are going to declare inside the function body. Or in the local scope is also called local variable. Then some we are going to follow some rules to declare a local scope. Okay, local scope or local variable. So the first point is a variable with a local scope can be accessed only within a function or block. So we can access the variable or data only within the function or block. Then, when a variable is created inside the function block, the variable becomes local to it. Once, if we create a variable, so automatically it becomes uh, local. The next third point is, a lo local variable only exists while the function is executed. When function execute, it process. So, a variable only exists when it exits from the program means the function is executed. Then, the format arguments are also called local to function. So, the format arguments are also called local function. Then, the next one is, uh, let us see the example for a local variable. Def local semicolon then y is equal to 0 print y log. So already we know that def is a keyword and log is a function name. So here we are going to call the local function. So it comes here y is equal to 0 print 0. So it print the output value y is equal to y value 0 okay so here we declare the y value as in local so inside the block within the block we define this variable so it is considered as a local variable in case if you write like a program like this def loc the next one is uh, y is equal to Local, then low, then print y. So if we define here, so it is a local variable, but we are going to print outside the block. The y values we are going to uh, print outside the block. So when we run this code, it executes the error message that is uh, the name y is not defined. The name y is not defined. Because we define the value outside the block. So it is uh, considered as an error message. 
The next one is a global scope. So already we know that local scope means we are going to define within a block. The next global scope. So here a global scope means uh, it, we can use anywhere in a program. Anywhere in a program. Then it can be created by defining a variable outside the scope of any function block. So you can define a variable outside also. Then rules for local, uh, global. The first one is when we define a variable outside a function, it uh, it's global by default. When we define a fun variable in outside of the program, automatically it consider as by default it consider as a global variable. You, you don't have to use a global keyword. So no need to mention a global keyword. The next one, we use a global keyword to read and write a global variable inside a function. So what is the use of uh, this global keyword? It is used to read and write a function. We can read and write a global variable inside the function. The next one, use a global word keyword outside a function has no effect. If we use a global keyword, you, the use of a global keyword is outside a function has no effect. Now, let us see the example program for global variable a global scope c is equal to 1 def add and then next print c so here we de def define a c value as global variable so we can use anywhere in a program, either inside or outside. So this is a function block. Here we declare a global variable outside the block. Now it comes a program, it print a value C. So C value is 1. So the output of program is 1. Without using the global keyword, we cannot modify the global variable inside the function, but we can only access the global variable. Now, let us see the example for changing a global variable from inside a function using global keyword. Here, x is equal to 0, def add function. Then next, global x, x is equal to x plus 5. Then print inside add function, x value is x. Then add, then print in main, x value is x. Now, here, this is a global variable. And then next tick here, they used a global keyword. So, in this above example program, x is defined as a global variable. And inside that add function, we use the keyword a global. And we increment the value x is equal to x plus 5. Then, now, we can see the changes on the global variable x outside the function that is x value. Now, let us see. First one is inside the output of this program is the first one inside add function x value is what is the value of x first here we have declared 0 then x plus 5 so the output is 5 next one is the outside the variable in main in main function also x value is Five. Because we use the keyword global, so we can use the both values as local and global. The next one is global and local variables. So here we are going to use a global and local variables in same code. Now, x is equal to 8, def, 
local global x x is equal to x into 2 print x print y local sorry now when we run this program in the above program we can declare x as a global variable and y as a local variable in a function loop so x is a global and y is a local in this program now after calling the local function the value of x beca becomes a 16 be because we used x into x star 2 x into x is equal to x into 2 after that we have printed the value of local variable y that is local when we run this program print, print x here x value is already 8 it comes here 8 into 2 16 then next print y here y value is local so I print local so the output of program is 16 and another one is a local the next another one example uh, same global and local variable with same name so here so same code next we are going to discuss global and local variable with the same name Here, in the above code, we use the same name x for both local and, sorry, global and local variable. We get different result when we print the same variable because the variable is declared in both the scope. That is global and local also. That is the local scope inside the function local. And global scope outside the function of local. So here this is a local variable and this is a global variable. When we run this program, first it uh, print uh, local of x. Local of x is equal to. So what is the value of x? 10. So we print 10. The next global x. Global x value is 5. So we print the value 5. So these are all the methods for accessing the global and local variable in our program. Thank you students.